There is a house right here in the Wabash Valley, some call the most evil and haunted house in North America. A home in Eugene, Indiana, that has caught the attention of national television stations, even movie producers. But the former owners of the house contacted News 10. They say it's not haunted, it's a hoax. And the stories coming out of that house are fabricated facts about their loved ones. It looks like any normal home nestled in the middle of nowhere. But it is here on the corner of Elm Tree Road and Water Street in small town Eugene, Indiana, that big controversy is starting to swirl. So we were really just a normal family. Adam Baird and his sister Haley Navarro say they just want people to know the true story behind this house. A tragic story they say they've been trying to get out for nearly a decade. Here are what they say are the facts. In 2001, their mother, Cheryl Skinner, died of a heart attack at the young age of 42. They say she had the heart attack in the home, but died at the hospital. Then their stepfather, Kurt Skinner, committed suicide in the home several years later. Haley says he found out he had cancer and couldn't afford the treatments, so he ended his life. Life-changing, devastating events to say the least, but then more changes. A paranormal team bought this house, their family home. The paranormal investigators claim the house is haunted by several people who died here in the home, including Kurt and Cheryl Skinner. Adam and Haley claim their parents' deaths are being used for profit. There were all these lies talking about how my mother died of a drug overdose and that she was underneath the, the bed and been bloated and nobody found her for two weeks. They were charging people to come in and haunt my mother and call my mother out my name and my stepfather. The paranormal team has nicknamed the house Willow's Weep, a play of words based on the huge willow tree in the front yard. They say if you pull a branch off the tree, something bad's going to happen. Haley says that's ridiculous. She says the tree was the last memory she has of her mother. They planted the tree together just months before she died. We don't want you paying money on lies. Like, if you're going to do a haunt, we want you to at least know the truth. Dozens of people have come here over the last several years, paid money to investigate the house. Adam and Haley say their family home was nice inside, well kept when they lived there, but they claim the new owners purposefully changed the appearance. It had carpet, it had, had nice furniture, you know, it was a place that we could grow up in. And then they stripped all that out to make it look haunted and scarier than what it really was. Paranormal investigators shared these pictures of the inside of the house. They claim this is the chair Kurt Skinner shot himself in. You can see the blood-stained upholstery. And they say the hats, boots, and guns are Skinner's as well. But Haley says no way. And it's not even the f same furniture that was in the house. You know, they put guns, hats in there and stuff. You know, he, was, he wore trucker hats. He never wore cowboy hats. It irritates me that they would lie like that just to make profit that's what I think they claim they're not making profit that it's for upkeep but I beg to differ we have children and we don't want our children growing up seeing seeing this house that's portraying their grandmother in this way of, of being haunted Adam and Haley say to them this isn't just some people in a ghost story this is their loved ones real people they say are being lied about they just want the stories to stop and their loved ones to rest in peace. I tracked down the current owner of the house, David Spinks. He's a paranormal investigator and lives in West Virginia. He agreed to talk to me for his side of the story. We'll have that for you tomorrow on News 10.